Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And so today I have a really quick journal with me video working in my Daphne's Diary Memory Planner. You remember that we set this up a couple of weeks ago. I basically gutted the insert pages and added tabs and stuff. Well, I am finally sitting to work in it. I am so behind. I have to do all of January and yeah. Anyway, this is a very quick process showing you how I created my first page. And so the first page here is basically the contact page, you know, that page, the this journal belongs to page, and it's supposed to have like my contact details on it. I left it in because it the 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 perpetual calendar was on the back side, and I just really like having this. It kind of takes the place of my stats page usually, right? I always start my journals off with a stats page and I figured I would do the same or something similar here. And so I have this picture of myself that I took at some point last year and I printed it out in like this faux Polaroid style and I never used it and I had it in one of the caddies on my desk and so I figured I will just use it here. It, I look silly, I was making a face and I'm like, you know what, that's fine. And so I am pulling out, well, I pulled out a bunch of pieces that I cut apart from Daphne's Diary Magazine, and I am just kind of making a little frame around my photograph of myself and just kind of making a cluster there. And I decided to keep it fairly bright and yellow and orangey, but with like a little hint of blue. And so I'm kind of using a butterfly to kind of pull that blue because my background is sort of my minty green, but it, it looks more on the blue side in the photograph because I think the exposure is just really high. And so, yeah, I have a doily. I have like an off-white doily and I am just layering up, making a little cluster. And my intention for this planner, I'm not using it as a planner. It's more like a memory scrapbook or memory planner we want to call it that. It's basically a scrapbook for this year. I really want to stick to using just Daphne's diary stuff. So almost I think everything that I use besides the doily is something from the Daphne's diary magazines. I have this whole little bowl here where I put all the things that I clip out of the magazine and I really want to use it in my journals because I've just been hoarding these beautiful illustrations from this magazine and just not doing anything with them. And so that is my intention for this scrapbook is to use up those pieces that I pull from the Daphne's Diary magazines. I want to use up my pretty things and stop hoarding everything. And so yeah, I just made a tiny little cluster there and you saw that I put I put three butterflies. I have like an orangey yellow one, a yellow one, and then a blue one at the top there. And I glued them down in a way with double-sided tape so that I can kind of pinch the wings so that they kind of come up a little bit off the page. I really love that. And yeah, I'm just looking through some stickers and these are all pulls from the Daphne's Diary magazines. And I know I have a few that were from the planners from this current planner and from a, the previous planner that I bought. And I think I'm looking for something, I guess, to decorate. And I settle on um, some of these little kind of like faux tape things. And I just kind of put one there at the top corner of my little Polaroid just to kind of move some of that orange up there a bit. And yeah, I just kept this page super simple, simple because the background was just beautiful and I literally just covered up all the informational parts. I did take out my sticker books. These are, um, this one is the crepe paper one uh, and then I have the Maggie Holmes one. And I think I'm just looking for a phrase. Like I kind of wanted to put like hello or I know um, the crepe paper stuff uses a lot of that phrasing like hello darling or whatever. This one, I pulled out a sticker that says hey sunshine, which I thought it was fitting. I just kind of wanted something that said hello. And then I debated, I was actually looking for a sticker that I can put the date or the year specifically 2023. And this sticker book, this was from like the journal studio and I think it ended in 2022, like the dates. So I just took my Felicity Jean date stamp and what I really love about this date stamp is that the numbers, you can replace them with these little hearts. So stinking cute. And so I just changed the year and I set it to January 
but then I stamped it so that January stamps on the white cardstock and all I get on my page are the two little hearts and the 2023. And yeah, that's basically the entire page. I said it was quick. I really hope you enjoyed this little journal with me process and I will have more coming, I promise. Thank you so much for watching friends and I will see you all next time. Bye.